so that's first video for the first years this year, right? All right, All right guys. Now, uh, we'll start with Seb. Now, Seb, what happens when you multiply these in? What you got? Uh, 4x. Yeah. And then minus 12. 4x minus 12 is a good strong start off after that. Uh, plus 3x. Yeah. Excellent. And that equals? 15. Okay. Let's reduce the this side here. So what can you do next there, Seb? Uh, 4x plus 3x is 7x. 4 plus 3x is 7x, yeah. Uh, minus 12 plus 21 is... You have 21 euro and you owe somebody 12 quid. How much money do you have? Is it 9? You have 9 euro. Perfect. Now the, the whole goal of these questions is they're solved questions. You want to figure out what is the x value, okay? Do you notice uh, one thing? Do you notice that every one of my numbers has a symbol in front of it? Bar the very first one. See the way the green one has no symbol in front of it? But you see the way every other number has a symbol in front of it? Isn't that right? Yeah? You need to be the same, okay? Everything has to have a symbol in front of it. All right? Now, what do I do with the 9 on the left-hand side of the equals, Seb? Um, you turn it over so it's a minus 9. And what's 16 take away 9? Uh, 7. And 7x seven equals 7. Now, this is multiplied by 7 on the left, so what happens to it okay. when it moves over? Divided by 7. And what's 7 divided by 7? 1. Right. So we've got x equals 1 for that one. Okay, what was the most common mistake for anybody that didn't get the question correct? What was the most common mistake? Uh, we're going to go for James next. James, here we go, buddy. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. All right, 2 times 7? Uh, 14. Yeah, and after the 14? Uh, 2x. 2x, good man. And now you're going to multiply minus 4 by x and minus 4 by 3. Minus 4 by x minus 4x. Yeah. Uh, minus 4 by 3 is minus 12. Minus 12, exactly. Mm -hmm. Flying this. Next part, 15 by x. Uh, yeah. Now, we have a lot of numbers on the left hand side, which I'm going to highlight in yellow. Any idea how to reduce that down a little bit? Minus 14 by 12. Alright, so what's 14 take away 12? 2. two. What's 2x two take away 4x? Uh, minus 2x. Minus 2x, right. Now we're at the stage where we have two, on the, two different items on the left and two different items on the North. right. What do you want on the left hand side? Uh, two you want the x's on the left yeah. and the regular numbers on the yeah. right. Uh, Colour which ones you're going to move? Uh, two x and 15. You're going to move to 50 and x, 15 and, and you're going to move to 2. two. So, what, what, uh, so what, what stays in position? Uh, two x minus 15. The minus 2x and the minus 15 stay in position. Do you see the way I, I still have them directly underneath? Yeah. Does everybody see the way they're still directly underneath? Yeah. And they haven't moved anywhere? Now, what, where does the 2 go? Uh, the 2 goes mm, minus 2 minus 15. Uh, it was plus 2 on the left, but when it moves to the right? It's minus, two. minus 2. And it's plus 15x on the right, which means? Uh, 15 minus 15x. On the left. What's minus 15x minus 2x? Nearly. You owe somebody 15 and you owe somebody 2. You owe them 17. Okay, same thing here, isn't it? Okay. Now, Senan, what does minus 70 and x mean? Is it being multiplied or added to the x? Um, being added? Or multiplied? So, what's the difference between minus 70 and plus x and minus 70 and x? What's the difference? Um, yeah, it's being multiplied when there's nothing between it and the x. But if there's a plus sign, it's definitely being added. What is the inverse of, or the opposite of, being multiplied by minus 17? Uh, being divided. Being divided by minus 17, exactly. So how much that 17 when it moves over to your side? It's divided by minus 17. Multiplication turns into division. What's minus 17 divided by minus 17? One. One. We all good? Alrighty. Uh, so what's 
So what did I do so far? 17 and 20. Callum, will you take up this one for me, please? Yeah. Go on. So 5 by x is 5x. Yeah. And 5 by 4 is plus 20. Yeah. And minus 3 by x is minus 3x. Yep. And minus 3 by minus 4 is plus 12. Yes. And then equals 3x plus 29. Okay, reduce the left-hand side to make it smaller. So 5x minus 3x is 2x. Yeah. And 20 plus 12 is uh, 32. Yeah. And then you move the x to the left and the numbers to the right. Highlight the ones we are going to move. Which ones are we going to move? Uh, 3x and 32. We're moving the 3x and the 32. What does that mean for the next line? Uh, it means uh, 3x becomes minus 3x. 3x moves from the right, goes to the left, becomes minus 3x. Yeah. And then 32 becomes minus 32. Yeah. 2x take away 3x. Uh, minus Minus 32 plus 29? Uh, 3. You, you, you owe somebody 32 euro and you have 29 euro. Exactly. What happens to the minus 1 in front of the X? Uh, it goes over to the right. And what happens when it moves to the right? Uh, it comes to the right. And what's minus 3 divided by minus 1? Uh, minus 3. Uh, right. So when it comes to multiplication and division, oh, right. yeah, 2 minuses makes a? Plus. So? 3. 3. Right. 17, 20, and 19. Okay. Uh, go on, Finn. Off you go. Uh, six times, so, uh, plus the friend got started and multiplied six times with two, which is 12. Okay, now one, one thing with six. It's not a six. It's a minus six. Oh, so it's minus six uh, times two is minus 12. Yeah. And then minus six minus x plus 6x, yeah. Uh, and then 5 times x is 5x. Yeah. 5 and 5 plus 3 is plus 15. 15, yeah. And then minus 23. Okay, reduce both sides down to two parts. Uh, so 2 minus 12 is minus 10. You have 2 euro, you owe somebody 12 euro, you're definitely going to owe them 10 euro, aren't you? Yeah. All right, and what about the other part, Finn? Uh, <laughs> uh, so it's 5x. Sorry, Josh. What about uh, your part, Josh? Plus uh, 15 minus 23 is minus 8. Thank you. Hi, All right, go on. Uh, so then you move them over. So uh, Which ones are you moving? Uh, the x goes on the left, and then the normal ones go on the right. So you're going to move the minus 10 and the 5x, is that correct? Yeah. And so I keep the other, the other two stay in the same position, don't they? Yeah. So what moves where then? Yeah. Uh, plus 6x, and then minus 10 turns into a positive, so it's 10 minus 8. Yeah. Uh, so, and 10 minus 8 is 2, and minus 5x plus 6x is 1x. Yeah, x equals 2, or 1x equals 2. Perfect. We all good with that? Yeah, yeah. 17, 20, 19, and 23. 17, 20, 19, and 23. All right, Connor, you're up now, okay? What would you like to do first? So minus 4x, yeah, and then you're multiplying minus 4 by minus 3, aren't you? Yeah, so you have 2 minuses, it's uh, plus 12, yeah, and the symbols are all there. Yeah. See the 5 stays exactly where it is? The equal sign roughly stays where it is. And what's next? Minus 2, uh, that's minus 2x, and then minus 2x. And minus 2 by minus 1? Plus two. Can I ask you something, Connor? Why didn't we take uh, Why didn't we take five take away four at the start? Why didn't we do that? Uh, Any idea why you didn't do it? You multiply before you divide. So because you have to multiply, sorry, you multiply before you take away. So because you have to multiply in the four, you can't take it away until you've multiplied it. Just so you know the reason. Is that right? Keep going, Connor. You're doing great. Seventeen, yeah. One x take away two x. Uh, yeah. And then uh, which two numbers are you gonna move, Connor? Move, I 
the one X, is it? All the X's go to the left, everything else goes to the right. So you're right, the two of them move, don't they? Now what can you write down on the next line? The equal stays where it is. What else stays where it is? So minus stays and what else stays? And then the two stays the okay, they stay exactly where they are, don't they? Now what moves, Connor? So what did they turn into when they move? Excellent. What's minus four x plus one x? And what's minus 17 plus 2? Yeah. And what's the... Uh, you're multiplying by minus 3 on the left. So what does it do on the right? It kind of says divide by minus 3. And what you get? And your x answer is... 5. Is that right with you guys? Who got that one out? All right. Hi, right, guys.